Welcome back to another video guys, and today we're going to be talking about my mobile video editing setup, so let me just grab this and I'll show you. Okay, so to start off, I mean, this is what my bag looks like for my mobile video editing. You unzip it, and what you got in here for your s mobile video editing is this. Okay, so this is my mobile video editing setup, and as you can see, I've got an iPad. I've got an SD card reader, I've got a magic mouse, I think is what it's called. I've got the Apple keyboard. I've also got a charger and headphones and um, a power brick. So I'm going to get more into depth of those things right now. Okay, so first for our iPad, which is going to be running, our software is the iPad 6th generation, 32 gigabyte cellular version. and. Yeah, so this is why your um, this is why your uh, power brick here could come in handy because I mean my iPad's at eight percent, and this isn't really a big power brick. It's just one I have, and I'm probably gonna get a d different and bigger one. But and then I've got the Apple Magic Mouse thingy. It I will actually show in this video how you connect this to a iPad and most people wonder how you connect it to an iPad and then I've got okay and then I've got this Bluetooth keyboard that you can connect to your iPad which is pretty simple to connect them I and you just go to Bluetooth find this keyboard and you're good to go and then ear pods these are the one with the lightning connector and that is because this is a iPad 6th generation and doesn't have the U USB type C connector and then I've got this power brick that comes with your with your iPad and uh... so I'll just okay so now I'm just gonna jump into this and show you how to um, how to connect your Apple Mouse or your Magic Mouse thingy to your iPad. And I've already had mine connected and I don't know how to disconnect it, so I mean. Okay, so note that you do have to have the iOS 13 beta to do this, and I don't think you can do it with iOS 12. Um, but, so, what we will do is we will scroll down till you see accessibility right here. So you'll tap accessibility. I'm gonna go down to touch. And you wanna make this assist of touch on. And you wanna make sure that's on. And you can customize that however you want. And then you wanna go to, oh, back to assist of touch and pointing devices. And you're gonna make sure you wanna turn your Bluetooth, your, your mouse on to where it has that green light and then you just want to click it when it comes on and now you can see my mouse is connected and it's gonna pop up here and you can do all that stuff and you're gonna connect it and I think most uh, ooh, yeah okay and I think most um, of these Apple mouses I think the password is 0000 it's a four digit but I mean and you can click on the right side to access your assistive touch right here. And you click on your left side to do all the fancy stuff. And basically, you can pretty much do everything you would want to do with a iPad or with a Mac on this iPad. So now I'm going to. Uh, show you how to connect your Bluetooth keyboard, which I use, and is also the Apple one. So I'll just show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so you're gonna have your keyboard, and you're gonna make sure you wanna press that power button right there. So the green dot appears right there. I don't know if you can see, it's very dim. And you're gonna, go to, gonna wanna go to your settings, Bluetooth, and then, okay, and then you're gonna connect it, and you're gonna have to put password in. I'll, it's gonna tell you your password on the screen, and then you can figure out all kinds of shortcuts. You can hold down the command button like this, and it'll show you some of the shortcuts. So, uh, Command H 
will do home so if you go back into settings command H takes you home uh, command space takes you to spotlight search um, switch app is command whatever that button is I think it's command shift I don't know and command whatever that symbol is command D shows dock so yeah there's lots of good things and obviously you can just type with your uh, you can type with your keyboard so you can just or type whatever you want and whatever you feel like or you can like you can even like write a whole essay on here I mean it's pretty easy and then you, you still got your mouse which you can use and obviously you're Oh, and after using your mouse, not using your mouse for like a couple minutes, it'll kind of like stay in one spot, and that's so you don't actually accidentally bump it. Like I've done that a couple times. Like as soon as I get done using it, and it just sits there, and you accidentally bump it in and moves it around, and or accidentally click something with your elbow or something. Uh, it just like locks, so you just have to click again, and it'll. Uh, yeah, so the mouse works pretty great, and uh, keyboard works great, and it's all great. Um, another thing I use, which I actually need to use now, because, so I'm just gonna, you can just turn this Bluetooth off right away, and that'll disconnect and connect everything. So I will grab my lightning cable and my charging block, and this just has a USB port right there, you just plug that in, plug this into your device, and press the button right there. And you're charging. So this doesn't last very long. I think it lasts like two hours, but it's still enough to last you through a short edit. Um, I've got this SD card reader, so you can take your SD card. Let me grab my camera SD card real quick. Yeah, so you can just take your SD card and stick it right in here. This is like eleven dollars on Amazon. I think I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. And you just—it's got the lightning adapter. Yeah, so you got that, and you can get your it just takes you straight into photos, import, and you select what you want, and then you get what you want, and it's all good. Um, and what I use to edit my videos is LumaFusion. You saw that in my last video, if you watched my last video. But, okay, so yeah. So you've got your LumaFusion. Uh, you got all the details on that. I did get a comment on that video saying that I did not talk about tracking points, which is a good thing to have. I completely forgot about those, and I obviously used them in that video when I did the iOS 13 thing. It's for like motion tracking and stuff, and uh, man, I don't even know what those things are called. What are they called? I can never remember what they're called. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I've got the mouse, I got the keyboard, I got the iPad, I've got the charging brick, got the charging block, and the lightning headphones. You just plug it in. You listen to your if you want some precise audio editing. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Link to this stuff is in the description. Not getting paid by any of these companies, which is mainly Apple. To get any of this stuff said, just doing it simply because I like these things and this is what I use and this is what I prefer. And I'm just sharing with you what I use for mobile video editing. And, um, let me just grab this real quick. This is just a simple GoPro case. It usually has some foam, but I took the foam out put my keyboard in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I put my keyboard in there, iPad and other stuff here, and it works great. I mean, it zips up and you just hold it by the handle. You're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.